Today was one of those days when I really didn't feel like training. It was raining, it was cold and dark, and I didn't have any motivation to work out. But as always, when I'm working towards a goal, it's so important to build resilience and to do the work that needs to be done no matter how I'm feeling. After all, training outside when it's cold just means that I have to focus more on the warm-up. For me, this is so important, especially before muscle-ups, otherwise it's easy to get injured or just have a bad workout. If you're working towards your first muscle-up, I made a free step-by-step -step checklist for you to use before every muscle-up workout as a reminder of the technique. This will make you learn the muscle-up much faster. You can download it by clicking on the link in the description below. To be honest, today's workout was really hard. I felt heavy and I didn't have my normal explosiveness. This can sometimes be the case when training explosive strength like muscle-ups. I really feel the difference in how I'm performing my muscle-ups when the energy is not there. If you experience the same thing as me, don't be discouraged. Remind yourself that the most important thing is consistency, but also track your reps and sets in a training journal and look back at your progress when you feel like you're not advancing. Today's workout consisted of 5 muscle-ups into 10 straight bar dips for 5 sets. I find it's easy to forget to train my straight bar dips, so a good way of implementing them in your training is to do them on your muscle up day, either as a separate exercise or as I'm doing here at the end of each muscle up set. When I'm feeling tired, the first thing that goes is my explosive strength. Then what I usually do is to backtrack if I did anything different on the days leading up to my muscle up workout. And for me, it was obvious that because I trained heavy explosive pull ups two days ago, which I usually don't do, affected this workout because I didn't have the proper time to recover. We all have bad workouts, but if we can learn from them, it's a win. If you want tips on how to build your explosiveness, watch this video right here.